Good morning. How are you today? Happy Tuesday and uh, welcome to LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. Welcome to your daily morning prayer and power words. It's uh, 4.39 a.m. Los Angeles time, October 20, 2020. It's Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. We are your LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. Let us start with a uh, verse about prayer. We always start with a verse about prayer so that uh, it will strengthen our faith and our belief that uh, prayer is very significant in our life. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 6, But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father, who is unseen. Then your father who is, sees that who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Prayer is the power bank of our daily journey. It's a soul refresher, stress reliever, means of communication to God, and the backbone of our ministry. Our goals are selflessness to teach people how to pray and form a habit of praying. Let us let me uh, share to you our power words for this morning. We can uh, open our Bible to Ephesians 4, 11 to 12. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, to, be, to build up the body of Christ. The title for our power words this morning is Anger Danger. The role of leaders in the church is not to do ministry, but develop ministry. Leaders develop ministry when they equip, empower, coach, cheerlead, and encourage God's people. When the church was started, everyone understood this. But at some point, there, are, there arose a group of professional clergy, a spiritual elite, who took over the ministry. The attitude then developed that meaningful ministry was for the professionals and that the people were recipients and expect spectators of ministry. This is not God's way of doing church. In fact, this is a diabolical strategy to hamstring God's work and to stifle the spiritual growth of God's people. Moreover, pastors and priests were also to blame for this, tra for this tragedy because they enjoyed their status as the spiritual elite and did not want to give up control. Let me ask you, what is the most effective way of doing church? Should we put the ministry in the hands of Few, few seminary educated, robe wearing, jargon talking professionals, or should we empower all the God, all of God's people, to do the ministry? I think it's a no-brainer. Let's go with God's way, right? God says you are a minister. Yes, you. Moreover, you are a missionary because you are on a mission for God wherever you are. You are a soldier of the gospel in the great battle. And the church, of course, it's not a cruise ship where you go to be served and entertained. It is actually a battleship. And every soldier is needed to man their battle stations. The question for this morning is, what is your battle station? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful morning. We lift up your name. We acknowledge that you are King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We 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 praise you, Lord God. We we enthrone you. We we just want to show our love to you this morning, Lord. And uh, may you accept our uh, quiet time with you this morning as a pleasing sacrifice, as a pleasing worship for you, Lord. We ask for forgiveness for all the things that we did, we said, and we thought of. 
yeah, we repent of our sins to you, Lord God, and uh, we ask for your mercy, Lord. Cleanse us with the blood of the Lamb. Make us whiter than the snow. We thank you for all the blessings that we received from you. Uh, blessings that we continue to receive from you and blessings to come in the future, Lord. Lord, we pray for uh, our world. We pray for our country. We pray for our church, our neighbor, our friends, our relatives, and we pray for ourselves, Lord God. We pray for this flu season, Lord God, this coming flu season. Uh, it's winter again uh, here in the uh, U.S., Canada, and uh, European region. <clears throat> we pray, Lord God, that uh, <clears throat> you protect your people from flu season, Lord uh, we pray, Lord God, for the world to go back to normal. We, we pray for the facilitating of uh, the vaccine for pandemic, COVID-19. <clears throat> we pray for the economy, Lord God, that uh, we will be able to bounce back the entire world's economy. We pray for President Trump and former Vice President Biden as they uh, battle it out like that on November 3 uh, for the U.S. elections. We pray for the new U.S. Supreme Court judge. We pray for the unity in the Philippines, in the Philippine Congress, Lord God. We also pray for our president, Lord God, that you keep on wisdom. Lord God, we pray for our Church of the Nazarene denomination. We pray for all our general superintendents. We pray for all our district superintendents, especially our LA district superintendent, Reverend Greg Garman. Give them wisdom, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for all local pastors of Church of the Nazarenes, that uh, you encourage them, Lord God, and appreciate them. And uh, may we continue, Lord God, to uh, be a blessing to a lot of people. We pray for our U.S. Canada region. Uh, for our Filipino zone churches in the U.S. Canada region. We pray for all the Metro LA, Los Angeles, Filipino churches, Lord God, whether it's a Nazarene or a Baptist or a Methodist or a, uh, whatever denomination it is, Lord God, we pray that uh, we continue to work for your for your vineyard, Lord God, with uh, zest and uh, with zealousness and with, uh, with fire in our hearts, Lord God, to serve you. Pray for complete healing for uh, Pastor Dandy, Lord. You pray for Ariane for a full recovery. You pray for Mommy Ellie for a complete cancer free. Um, we pray for Mommy Delia for full recovery, for Donna Shala for her stage one cancer, Lord. We pray for Romy Giwa for his kidney, Danny Munoz for his kidney. Uh, we pray for complete healing for them. We pray for Betty Vedi for uh, his pancreatic cancer that you heal him, Lord. We pray for Marian Ramos, uh, her uh, Aunt Loretta Ramos to be healed and uh, to provide for her heart surgery, Lord God. We pray for God's comfort for the family of Alma Patalu, Ling Chanlyongko, and uh, Tita Neri of uh, Lin and Noel Friel. We pray that uh, you comfort their family uh, we, uh, for the passing of these uh, loved ones of them, Lord God. We pray for our birthday October celebrators, Lord God. Uh, may, help, may they have happy birthday and continue to bless them, Lord God. These are members of our church, Lord God. Uh, Sister Josie, Gianna, Curly, Claire, and uh, Karen. Um, we pray for blessings be upon their lives, Lord. Lord God, we also uh, pray for uh, all the members, Lord God, of our church all the leaders all the workers and we also pray for our upcoming reopening on november 1st may we uh, 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 grant may you grant our request lord god for new registration for from sacramento lord god and uh, we may we uh, may we get our uh, insurance uh, uh, as soon as possible lord god lord uh, we thank you well, we love you and we, we thank you for the power of prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. This is your LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. We will reopen on uh, November 1. And also November 1 will be 
not November 8 anymore, November 1, November 1st will be our installation service. So if you're free, please come and join us. Uh, it will be on Wiley Chapel and also uh, it will be uh, uh, live streamed uh, in Facebook and YouTube. So uh, watch out for our upcoming um, lafeelness.org website. We're working on it. We have our email here, our uh, Facebook, Instagram at LA Filnas and uh, YouTube, YouTube channel LA Filipino Nazarene for our past uh, uh, live streams and uh, videos. And uh, we thank you. We thank you for this morning for um, joining us in this uh, prayer. We are, we are your LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. Thank you. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Bye.